what's up guys today's video uh, i'm actually on a road trip out here in uh, arizona going to new mexico and i saw this really really cool wrecking yard with a bunch of classic cars and uh owners are really cool i just stopped by in and told them if i could check out their stuff they said i could be here for about 15 minutes and then you gotta go so let's take a look Whoa, check this out. This is super awesome. Ford 600. It's like a tow. The bed on here. It looks pretty complete. It's a big rig. <laughs> Check this out, it's an old Galaxy right here. 63 looks like. Super cool. Old Buick. These are the cars that I saw. Lots of old school rims. Okay, something just caught my attention, which is this uh, galaxy. Well, that's awesome. Got a galaxy right here. Probably a 390. Stuff is gone. All these wheels right here. Looks like a 57 wagon, Chevy wagon, Bel Air. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's just see really quick because we need to get out. I think they're about to close, but I'm seeing this dual cab international. Wow, that thing is awesome! Holy cow, what is that thing? If you guys know what that is, drop it in the comments but it looks like it's got the utility bed. Cool. Check this out, you guys. So I saw this on the side of the, the road, a lot of classics. I kind of talked to the owners of the land. Um, they were really friendly. They said they get a lot of people to stop by and ask about the cars. So um, we can't get to this area here, but looks like they got some more Ford stuff. Um, the guys that own the shop, they're actually renting uh, by the landowners. Landowners I heard, older gentlemen, He's not here, but we're going to take a look around, see what we find. I'm really interested in this Econo line right here. He said uh, that they sold the two of them for about three grand. So that one's got like, a, it, it looks like it's got some rust on there though. Some uh, Rancheros right there. Check this thing out. Holy cow. Runs good. Ford F 800.
Yeah, this thing is gnarly. I would love to own this thing. <laughs> oh my God. I've never seen this. It's got a huge bed on the back. Check out the Econo lines. They're super cool. Look at that Dodge uh, wagon over there. Super, super cool. Both of these for three grand is not a bad deal, I should say. I mean, maybe you could probably get them cheaper. If I had the space, if I had the room, I would definitely take this behemoth. Look at that thing. Interior is not too bad. I think that's it you guys i did get the guy's number um i think i'm gonna try and call him for those uh two econo lines i kind of like them a lot and see if i can uh, get them shipped over or make it make a deal or something but that's it We made it, Desert Valley Auto Parts at the Casa Grande location. Head inside. Tons and tons of hubcaps. <laughs> um, I just went, holy crap. They got a ton of stuff here. Jesus. Not entirely sure how big this yard is but holy jesus this thing is massive i don't think i'll have a chance to go through it all or else i'll be here all day but uh, i'll try to show you guys what, what i find this thing is just so rad oh my god all right i spotted uh some bucket seats here Not sure what it is. Looks like a Thunderbird. Check that out. Man, I've always, always loved the Ford Edsel stuff. I think the front end just looks super cool. Um, I believe some of these cars, you could, you're able to purchase them whole. But, uh, I think
think you just, you just have to ask them and see which cars are you're able to to do that but look at all these Edsels. holy crap if you need any Edsel part i mean this is the place let's keep looking all right looks like i spotted the galaxy uh stuff right here here we go a couple galaxies right here very very cool all the trim is on here it looks like Couple of engines. Looks like a 500 right there. Wow, that bumper looks super clean. Holy cow, check out that bumper. Wow. Definitely they got some nice parts going on here, so I wouldn't hesitate to buy from them. Oh my God, looks like a Starliner. 61 maybe, who knows? But uh, I'm gonna check these parts out and I'll see what I'm gonna take today. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that'll be my next car. <laughs> 61 Starliner, it looks so cool. But uh, I'm mainly looking for the end pieces as I said. Looks like they're kind of ruined though. See that? That one's bent. Shame, shame, shame. All right. <laughs> I was looking at the Galaxy stuff and uh, the gentleman over there told me that there's uh, another yard across that they have a lot more Galaxy stuff. So uh, we might check that out. But if not, Wow, look at that. Mercury, what in the world is this? Crazy looking. Wow. Whoa, check this one out. 60 Fairlane, maybe? Holy cow. Look at that interior. Um, I didn't see these cars, this Galaxy here. There's another one. I didn't see it, so Let's see what they have here. So it looks like they have a lot of the trim already taken off the cars. So if you need something, you could probably, probably just grab it and take it over to the counter. Um, I'm not seeing the end pieces though. All right, guys, check it out. This is what I managed to find. The windshield pillar trim for the XL. The XL is different than a four-door because the XL has that little arrow right there. This one right here. The regular one is just a straight piece. There's no indentation of that arrow. So mine is pretty dented. There you go. I'm going to take that. And then I'm also missing the side piece on the passenger or driver's side. You see that long piece that goes right here? Found it. And it's this one right here. Only thing is I don't know if there's a left or right. So <laughs> hopefully I take the right one. Um, I got two of them here. But we'll see how much they cost and hopefully I get the right one. But I think that's gonna be it for the the trip. I don't see anything else. Um, oh, here's another one. So this one's also a 500 XL. So let's, I think that's gonna be it. Nice.
All right, guys, I think I'm going to call a video. I'm going to see how much these parts, these two parts will cost. But uh, this was very, very cool for me. Uh, I went on this road trip and wasn't expecting to go look at cars. <laughs> More of a vacation type, but uh, I was passing through and I just couldn't resist. So if you guys like the video, you guys like the channel, please subscribe and follow the Galaxy Build. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next one. All right, a little bonus. I was across right over there. They told me to come across the yard. I was about to pay for the stuff, but they told me to come across the yard and that there's uh, about 10 galaxies, the guy said. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to find out. got the XL stuff you guys that's pretty cool um I don't see the bucket seats but center console's right there really nice and the piece I'm looking for is actually that, that bottom uh, piece that goes through the whole bottom of the car that's the piece I really need hopefully I can find it and I'll be on my way the nice convertible right here it's got some nice parts on it if you have a convertible probably reuse that convertible top frame uh, no bottom piece here it is you guys i found the twin to my galaxy <laughs> this looks to be like a two-door xl Nice sheet metal. Two door fastback. Of course, it's missing the trim. <laughs> um, hopefully, it has the bottom trim. Hopefully. And it looks like it does, but it's twisted. Man. Seems like those get uh, damaged pretty easily. But it's got the center console and a couple of little smart small parts here and there. No luck. All right, guys, I wasn't able to find that trim. It's this one right here, actually. This one's pretty bent. Um, and it's got some holes on it. These two are different. I thought they were the same, but I think I'm gonna head out now it's been <laughs> quite some time you, you lose track of time when you're in here but uh if you guys like what you see consider subscribing and i'll see you on the next one thank you guys